Oh, all right. Okay. Do her hair. That looks crazy. <laughs> what? Well, I don't know why that's how that's gonna fix <laughs> it. <laughs> oh, your still hat's cut off. Cause it's way up there. Hi, welcome to Fiber Love Diary. I'm Trisha if we haven't met. I'm John. And if we have met, welcome back. <laughs> welcome back. Oh, that one's good. I like that. John's going to do some dyeing today. It's Labor Day here in the United States, so that means that he has the day off and I guess we're going to work. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's more fun for me than work. it's work for her. It's fun for me. I don't know what to say about that. <laughs> He's gonna go off list today. He is gonna do some, what's the fiber? BFL Silk That's right. Blend. That's right. That is now in your shop. Well, it isn't in my shop yet. Well, I bought it for the shop. You bought it for the shop. Right, to dye though. To dye though. It's to dye for. <laughs> oh my gosh, no, for really? Dying. That's awful. <laughs> I guess that's it. We'll just go for it. We're gonna go for it. Just go for it. It's go time. It's go time. We'll make this happen. Make it happen. Make it happen. All right. It's labor, it's labor Day and I'm getting labor out of you. <laughs> Here I am. Yep.
Okay, so this is the dye dungeon. I promise it's dry and it's actually pretty well lit. I probably doesn't really seem like it, but it is. Um, and I brought some extra lights, so I'm gonna start setting up. Are you ready? I'm kind of excited and yet weirdly scared. <laughs> All right, so this is my super glamorous new dye space. I have two like cooking stations. There are induction burners under here. Yes, this is open. I haven't figured out what I'm gonna store in these yet. This is my mixing and I guess dye application table. Um, my pan, extra pans and bottles. And then this is my second cooking station. This was John's desk when he was a little boy. <laughs> And this is towels, extra pans, citric acid, and my colors are separated and um, organized now. So black and gray. These are browns and like kind of neutrals. Pink, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. So I can find everything I need. And then I also have the first bump here. We're just gonna move those here one at a time as I'm dyeing them. So it's pretty exciting. All right, I'm gonna do some dyeing today. It's actually a ton of space, and that's all I really need or want, and I'm gonna do some sock yarn today and some Targi, and then I'll go home.
All right, hi, hi. I thought before I start editing this video and get ready to go to Rhinebeck, we are gonna be there, like not this coming weekend. Well, by the time you see this, it will be the following weekend. But I thought I would show you the first, very first batches of stuff coming out of the dye dungeon. I'm excited. I am still figuring out the heating situation, how to use it best, all that stuff. Um, you know, I am so used to my own gas stove and of course I couldn't use that there. So it is something that I'm figuring out. Um, you know, that's just life. When you move into a new space, when you have to change your processes somewhat, you sometimes have to have a learning curve. So anyways, I got the first stuff out. I thought I'd show you. All right. So, um, and these will be in the shop, by the way, I won't be shipping until we get back from Rhinebeck so it'll be a week from when this video comes out on the Tuesday. We'll be at home before that but um I won't be able to ship until Tuesday. There will be a note also up on the main page. So I did these sock yarns. This is a new sock yarn from my shop so I will be taking one with me to test how it knits up for Rhinebeck. I do adore the way that it dyed up and it feels very nice so i'm happy with that so far i just want to knit one up oh here is the next one i think this might be my favorite although i wouldn't necessarily have expected that so it's got kind of a greenish blue a berry blue some oranges some like cherry reds i'm very happy with this one this might be the one i keep because i really really like it and it's different from anything else that honestly that I've dyed or that I've seen lately and then here's the last one which seems to be the favorite from the Facebook post I have to kind of laugh because it has my very one of my very favorite colors on the planet which is Berry Crush from Dharma in it but other colors too and I do really like this one sometimes uh, deciding if I'm going to keep one or which one I'm going to keep is one of the hardest things about dyeing. I don't keep anything very often. It's very rare. And if I do, it's usually still for my channel for something else. So, well, it pretty much always is actually when I think about it. I'm thrilled with how this came out so far. I will update you on how I like knitting it, but right now it feels like a winner. So then there is um, eight braids of Targi. So I have... I have two of this one so this one is gold it's got a little bit of very dark brown and then this muted green and kind of this dark grayish blue really pretty I love that one so this is a re-dye from I think it was last Christmas everybody loved it it was it's like a couple shades of red a couple shades of green and some gold I believe this one was called Holly last year. So this will go up as Holly again. It is Targi this year. I'm probably gonna do this colorway again on other stuff. So if you don't want the Targi, like first of all, what is wrong with you? Because the Targi is great. But if you don't want it, it will be coming back in on different bases. So I have four of those. So this is a uh, different amounts of the first color. So it's got way more of the brown, only a touch of the gold, and then you're still getting that kind of blue gray and the same green. I love those colors and I love these together. So I was just sort of playing with amounts in the pans and I have two of these and I will see you at Rhinebeck, I guess. Thanks, I love you, bye.